and in this video, I am going to talk about what I have learned about genetic engineering and genetic modified organism. GMO or genetically modified organism is the common term used to describe a plant, animal, or microorganism that has had its genetic material or DNA changed using technology that generally involves the specific modification of DNA, including the transfer of specific DNA from one organism to another. GMO is a method to change some traits of many living creatures. Genetically modified organisms are living organisms whose genetic material has been artificially manipulated in a laboratory through genetic engineering. The History of Genetic Engineering Humans have been engineering genetics since ancient times for thousands of years. Asian people have been doing genetics engineering or GMO since Asian times without proper tools like scientific laboratories. For thousands of years, humans have been using traditional modification methods like selective breeding and crossbreeding to breed plants and animals with more desirable traits. Humans have selectively bred plants and animals for thousands of years. And then when DNA was discovered, scientists have begun to do more genetic engineering experiments. Like in 1973, when Herbert Boyer and Stanley Cohen worked together to engineer the first successful genetically engineered organism, it was the birth of modern genetic modification. They transferred a gene that includes antibiotic resistance from one strain of bacteria into another. And then, one year later, Rudolf Janisch and Beatrice Mintz utilized a similar procedure in animals, introducing DNA into foreign mouse embryos. To this day, artificial selection has been applied to many different species and has helped us develop all sorts of animals and plants from prize-winning racehorses to muscular beef cattle, super-muscled pigs, fast-growing salmon, featherless chicken, see-through frogs, crops plants with better yields, and many more genetically modified crops and animals. Using biotechnology for the benefits of humanity, the advantages. GMOs are used to produce many medicines. They are produced vaccines that help treat or prevent diseases. Animals are often selectively bred to improve growth rate and muscle mass and encourage disease resistance. Resistance to plant viruses and insect damage, farmers can apply pure spray pesticides to protect the crops. And the disadvantages. First, the risk of transmission of diseases. Inconsistent and unstable quality. Genetic and health issues. And last, large biotechnology companies have taken over the GMO crop industry, making difficult for individuals and small-scale farmers to make a living. GMO in the Philippines In 2012, Filipino farmers have planted almost 700,000 hectares of GMO corn. But one farmer that was interviewed by TV5 News back in 2013 said that GMO corn seeds are expensive and that he wouldn't recommend it. The BT Eggplant Eggplant farming is a massive industry in the Philippines. It is a major source of income for our local farmers. But they suffer from damages caused and brought by pests and diseases, putting farmer and consumer health and the environment at risk. So scientists from the University of the Philippines Las Banos Institute of Plant Breeding developed BT eggplant, a genetically modified eggplant that contains a gene from the soil bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis. The GM eggplant is the world's first genetically modified eggplant, originally developed in India by Monsanto subsidiary. It was further developed in the Philippines and is known 
as BT Talong, the Filipino word for egg But in 2015, the Supreme Court not only stopped the field testing of BT Talong, but also temporarily stop any application for field testing, contain use, propagation, and importation of GMO products. But the following year, in July 2016, the Supreme Court reversed its December 2015 ruling. BT Talong has been found to be as safe as conventional eggplant and can substitute for its traditional counterpart. According to the Department of Agriculture, Bureau of Plant Industry Approval. Now, BT eggplant has been approved for food and feed consumption by the Philippines Department of Agriculture, Bureau of Plant Industry. Thank you. That is all.